as I said, we've overtaken Tanzania and, and Kenya and other countries in this, in this direction. And thankfully, uh, we did it uh, with, within budget. <laughs> I, 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 I say so. I, I hope, Pace, which you didn't spend 4.6 billion Ghana cities on your, 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 your development. <laughs> I, I hope, I, I certainly hope you did it. Uh, I mean, you've, you've heard a lot of discussion this week about the cost of payment system, especially this interoperability switch. And, 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 and it, it gets, I mean, when I first became aware of this. It was a situation where three companies apparently bid for the right to provide payment systems. Right? The interoperability, payment system or to interoperability. One company bid 14 million Ghana CDs to provide that payment system and interoperability. Another company, for the same scope of work, bid 5 million Ghana CDs. And yet a third company for the same scope of work built four, bid 4.6 billion Ghana cities. And guess who won? 4.6 billion Ghana cities won that bid. And, 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 and what are we trying to provide? Interoperability. And we have been able to do it for $4.5 million instead of the $1 billion. And we have become the leading country in interoperability in Ghana. So what other scope were you thinking about? <laughs> I mean, what, what more do you want to do if you've become the leading country as far as interoperability is concerned? What more scope are you going to provide? And so uh, I, 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 I've, I've thought I would add that as an aside. 